Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Touch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I have something really cool to show you guys. This is IC 1.4.7. For those of you who don't know what IC is, it's a quicker, lighter, all around, just faster alternative to Cydia. Uh, many of you may know Rock, it's sort of like that, but I think it's even faster than Rock, it definitely is. And uh, IC was back around on the 3.0 firmware. I'm not too sure about 2.0 because I wasn't around then. I started off on 3.1.2. IC left on 3.1.3. I never got a chance to play around with it at all. After I jailbroke, I went straight to Cydia, used a little bit of Rock, and uh, that's about it. My friends used IC. Uh, I never, again, really got a chance to, but today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get the beta right now. This is beta 2 for 1.4.7 of IC, and it can be picked up from the iSpazio repo. So, if you want to go and get this thing, you want to go back, and then, well, from where I am, and then go to the Manage tab at the bottom, click the Edit button in the top right-hand corner, click the Add button, and then you want to add repo.ispazio.net. The link for that exact uh, source will be down below in the description. You want to click on it. Then scroll down to the I section, and just scroll until you find IC. It's not that far down, it's the only one without a picture. Click on it. In the upper right hand corner, hit install, and then confirm. You'll have it return to Cydia, and then quit out of Cydia. So, I'm going to go ahead and close out Cydia for the fastest test of IC. It has a pretty cool icon there. Uh, I definitely like the way it looks. Click on it, and there you go. It booted up in about a second. I don't even know if that was a second but that was pretty fast. You can see it says, whoa, stop, you haven't set up your homepage yet. Now, uh, the slide to unlock is a little hidden, and uh, the unfortunate part is that you cannot scroll uh, on or down, whatever, and then it's a little hard to get it, but once you get it, you'll be taken to the homepage. You can see the themes. Um, this is under the news category, I guess. You have default, kill sign, carbon blue, lumen. That's a really, really nice theme. Definitely recommend it if you are still on an SD or standard definition device and we have categories sources haven't added any yet installed packages and the thing I love about this is that it shows everything that you have ever installed or everything that has been installed so far and uh, you can really see a lot of hidden things that you can't normally see here's updates back to installed and uh, I don't know what that button does but it just made me crash so that's not good maybe that's a bug I don't know and it looks like it makes you redo this process every time Hopefully next week when it's released, it will uh, be fixed, at least that home screen thing, because that might get a little annoying. At the top it says auto-refresh on Wi-Fi. I'm definitely going to turn that on. That sounds really neat. And uh, there's also an install button up there. I wonder what that's for. It doesn't seem to do anything. There's a download button. When you press it, it doesn't do anything, and just click, click done. So uh, now let's go ahead and head back. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and add a source for you guys in one second. So let's go to the sources tab, edit, plus button, and you can see, oh, there's an add all button. That's pretty cool. So if you want all the sources, I don't recommend doing it. Uh, you can go do that. So what should I add? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the Hackylo source. Uh, it's a pretty good source. Most people have it already to get installs and whatnot. So city.hackylo.us. And that didn't even take a second to, to finish. <laughs> That was pretty fast. Just click the refresh button, I guess. Let's try and get into this source here. I guess you can't, so I'm going to go back. Oh, so we have a hackulus.us tab right there. I guess it doesn't work the same way as Cydia, where you can click on it and go to the next, or display all its packages, but you have to go to the categories and go to your uh, your source. So, uh, I've already have installs installed, but uh, let's go ahead and do a quick install test and run through what this thing looks like. So, I'm going to go ahead and click that right now. And, wow, this is a really cool loading screen. I've never seen anything like that, especially not in studio where you just have that plain black screen. But that was really nice, really well done. That loaded not even less than a second. Everything is just blazing fast. I mean, Cydia is really slow. It's really lagging there. Um, so definitely recommend. Check out IC 1.4.7 Beta 2 from RipDev. Great job, guys. Uh, thanks, RipDev, and uh, all the other developers that worked on this and InfiniDev. So, guys, it's been iTouch stuff here that is spelt with a zero, and I'll see you guys in the next video.